Hi, this is John Stewart. I am a radiologist and creator of the RScriptor program. In this tutorial, I will explain how to create an RScriptor account, create a narrative or structure report in RScriptor, and finally, how to use the RScriptor knowledge base to follow best practice guidelines in radiology reporting. In tutorial two, we will move on to more advanced topics, including dictating your findings and impressions sections simultaneously, and using RScriptor smart macros to dictate a particular finding, add an impression, and even add ACR follow-up recommendations using just a few dictated words. The first step is to look on your desktop and see if you can locate an RScriptor icon. If you see this icon, then RScriptor has already been installed on your desktop and you are ready to create an RScriptor account. If you do not see this icon, Please contact your IT support and ask them to install RScriptor or contact support at scriptorsoftware.com to obtain the RScriptor initial setup video, which explains how to download and install this program. With RScriptor installed, we are now ready to create an account. Double click on the RScriptor icon, enter your email address, which will serve as your username and then enter the password you would like to use for your account. Once these have been entered, push the Create Account button. Fill out the information in this form. Then go to the bottom of the form. Read the license agreement. Check the checkbox that you agree to the terms of the agreement. Push the Create Account button and an email will be sent to you containing an activation link to activate your account. Please be aware that sometimes this email goes into your spam folder. Click on the link in that email and your account is ready for use. With your username and password entered into the login window, push the sign in button and you will see the RScriptor interface appear on your desktop. Start your dictation software and move the RScriptor interface to a convenient location on the screen. Please be aware that RScriptor works with virtually any dictation software, so the instructions on this video are the same for any system you may be using. Open a case in your dictation software, and you should see the RScriptor header auto text or macro appear at the top of the dictation. If it does not appear, please ask your IT support to copy the RScriptor header auto text to your user profile or follow the instructions on the RScriptor initial setup video mentioned earlier. We are now ready to dictate a report. Note that the RScriptor header contains the demographic information necessary to create the report. Fill in any empty brackets as needed and then position the cursor at the bottom to start dictating the findings. We are going to begin by demonstrating how to dictate a narrative report in RScriptor. If you are using PowerScribe as I am, I recommend that you go into the Customize interface by pushing the Customize button on the RScriptor interface and changing the text color for dictated text to italics, the check color to underline, and the warning color to bold. The reason we do this is that PowerScribe does not allow us to paste colored text into the report. Therefore, we use italics, underline, and bold to highlight where text went into the report and to alert us of any problems with the report. When dictating a narrative report, we will begin the findings section with the heading findings colon and the impressions section with the heading impression colon. This tells our scripter that our intention is to create a narrative report. To save time, I will copy a findings section into the dictation window for a CT admin and pelvis report. Findings colon, new line. As you might expect, when dictating a narrative report, you must dictate all the positive and negative findings together, and then start a new paragraph for the impression. New line, impression colon, new line, four millimeter obstructing stone in the distal left ureter with hydronephrosis left kidney period, next line. Prostate hypertrophy period, next line. Diverticulosis sigmoid colon without evidence of diverticulitis period. With the narrative report dictated, we simply push the create button to generate the final narrative report. 
During this process, our scripter copies the dictated text to the clipboard, rewrites it in final form, and pastes it right back into your dictation window. And you can see the final report here as we dictated it. If we wish to return to the original report, we simply push the original button. And you can see the original report returns to the dictation window. Next, I will demonstrate how to create a structured report using RScripter. When dictating a structured report, we do not use the findings heading, as that would indicate we wanted to create a narrative report. So removing all of the narrative report text, we would simply dictate the positive findings only as follows. Four millimeter obstructing stone in the distal left ureter with hydronephrosis left kidney period. There is inflammation around this kidney period. No other stones are identified, period. Next line, prostate hypertrophy period. Next line, diverticulosis sigmoid colon without evidence of diverticulitis period. Next line, atelectasis in the lung basis period. Note that when using structure reporting, we only dictate the positive findings in the report. The negative findings will be inserted by our scripter automatically at the time the report is created. Also note that when we dictate a finding, the finding is on a line of text by itself. That line of dictated text may be several sentences. It could be a single word such as cholecystectomy. But when you move on to a new part of the anatomy, we start a new line in the report. Also, please note that it is not necessary to go to an earlier line of dictated text to talk about the same anatomy again. You can simply start a new line and immediately start talking about the same anatomy that was mentioned earlier in the report. At this point, we are ready to create the report and we push the Create button. Notice in this instance, we get a structured report. The structured report contains the text that we dictated, which was placed into the correct location in the report, and our impression that we dictated previously is again present in the report. Let's return to the original dictation and add another finding. New line. There is a 3.2 cm cyst in the tail of the pancreas period. The pancreas is otherwise normal in appearance period. No pancreatic ductal dilatation period. New line. 3.2 cm cyst in the tail of the pancreas period. At this point, I am aware there is an ACR follow-up recommendation for pancreatic cysts, but I don't recall what the recommendation is. This is where the RScripter knowledge base can be very helpful. Simply click on the knowledge button and the RScripter knowledge base will appear. This knowledge base contains all of the ACR follow-up recommendations for different findings. It also contains RADS system where you can put in the scores and the recommendations. It also includes trauma grading, many of the vascular tables which are helpful when dictating some anatomy, and we're adding to the knowledge base all the time to find useful things that the radiologist might need when dictating. In this case, we are interested in a pancreatic cyst, so we'll click on pancreatic cyst. To get the ACR follow-up recommendation, we simply answer a series of questions. In this case, the patient was greater than 80 years old. The cyst was greater than 2.5 centimeters. I will say it has low risk features, no prior imaging, and when we're finished, we'll get the recommendation for follow-up of that cyst, which can be pasted directly into the report with just the push of a button. With that recommendation in the report, now when I create that report, that recommendation gets inserted directly into the report in the impression section. Let's go back to the original report and add a statement saying, new line, no stones are identified, period. Because our scripter does not know what type of stone you might be referring to, they could be renal stones, common bile duct stones, gallstones, it will put that statement in the other findings section of the report when the report is created. 
It will also highlight that text in the report so that you are aware there may be a problem with what you dictated. If we go back to the original report, there are two solutions to fix this. Either we could be more specific and say no gallstones are identified, or we can force that text to go into a particular report section by preceding that text with the name of the report section followed by a colon. If you are unsure of the finding section names, simply push the sections button on the R scripter interface. Here you see on the left the names of each section that are available in this report. In this case, we want the text to go into the gallbladder and bile duct section. Therefore, we would precede this line of text with gallbladder and bile ducts colon. Now when we create the report, that text will get inserted into the gallbladder and bile duct section. This is a simple method to force text to go into any finding section simply by preceding the dictated text with the name of the section. Finally, I want to show you the edit exam window. If we go back to the original report and change the exam name to ABPEL without contrast, our scripter does not know what template to use for that exam name. If we try to create the report, our scripter will display the add edit exam window and in red it is asking what report template do you want me to use for this exam? We will select CT admin and pelvis and then select done. At this point, a small pop-up window will appear and ask you, would you always like to assign CT ab pel to the report template CT admin and pelvis? We will say yes. And from now on, we will not be asked whether we want to use that template for that exam name. It will happen automatically. At this point, I would recommend you give Rscriptor a try using the knowledge gained from this tutorial. In tutorial two, we will move on to more advanced topics, including how to dictate your findings and impressions sections simultaneously, avoiding the need to dictate the same or similar text in each section. I will also explain how to use Rscriptor smart macros to insert findings, impressions, and follow-up recommendations using only a few words. Thanks for watching.